Wait, wait. No, I'm kill you. Hi everyone, I'm Helen from Bonjour Two Edge Technology, and today's video will be very different from our previous one. We will talk about the nature of battery and its attributes. And by watching this video, you will have a general understanding of battery and be capable of selecting one for yourself. To begin with, I want to talk about this lithium. It's part of our product's battery cell. You can see that each lithium ion phosphate battery cell is 3.65 volt DC when it is fully charged and 2.5 volt DC when the cell runs out. Actually, the number of voltage is changing. It has a range, we also call it electromotive force. Generally speaking, it's a quantitative expression of potential difference in charge between two points in an electrical field. Therefore, no matter the capacity of the battery is 108H, 208H or something else, their voltage range are actually the same. And don't forget, the DC here means direct current. By the way, the 2.5 volt OVC and 3.65 OVC that I've mentioned before are not the maximum or minimum currents, but thresholds, which means only voltage within this range can keep battery from dying too soon. So please remember, don't overcharge or over discharge the battery. Next, I'm going to introduce lithium titanate battery. You probably have heard of it if you are in countries with extremely cold winter like Russia, Canada, the United States, etc. That kind of battery can work at a very low temperature, but the cost of lithium titanate battery is higher than the lithium phosphate battery. Currently, about 90% of batteries around the world are lead acid batteries, for they have been there for decades, far longer than the lithium iron phosphate batteries. But compared with the lead acid batteries, lithium phosphate batteries have a higher capacity, longer life cycle, and it is more environmentally friendly, and of course, much more expensive. Okay. Right now, some countries are doing really well in lithium battery industry. Japan is taking the lead, and South Korea is also very competitive. Germany is powerful in mechanics manufacturing, while the United States is strong in programming. All of them pay great attention to battery industry. Overall, China's share in the world's energy market will grow and gradually become the leader of the battery industry. So that is all for today. If you like it, please give it a like and subscribe our channel. I'm Helen. Welcome to Ask Me Anything in the comments.